Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. December 2021 and for your life boy today we are preparing you for the Lord's return so the topic is readiness for the Lord's return I'm sure you enjoyed Christmas and um, we are getting closer to the new year and once we go into the new year then we begin to talk about the naming and circumcision of Christ and then the epiphany the revelation of Christ and that's why you need to be ready for the return of Christ. For today, we are taking our scripture reading from the epistle of Paul, first epistle of Paul to the Thessalonians in chapter 5. So first Thessalonians chapter 5, I will be reading from the very first verse. So let's go. But as to the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need to have anything written to you, for you yourselves know well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people say there is peace and security, then suddenly destruction will come upon them as travel comes upon a woman with child, and there will be no escape. But you are not in darkness, brethren, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So, then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep at night and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that whether we wake or we sleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Paul the Apostle wrote this epistle, the first epistle he wrote to the Thessalonians, very long ago, perhaps about 52-53 AD, some theologians say perhaps a little uh, later than that, but certainly before 60 AD, and theologians are not exactly agreed on whether First Thessalonians was the first epistle that Paul ever wrote, or whether it was Romans. But either ways, it's obvious that what Paul was doing when he wrote the first epistle to the Thessalonians was to prepare them for the coming of the Lord. In all of First Thessalonians, everything is, a prep is about preparation for the coming of the Lord and expression of Paul the Apostle of the confidence he had in the Thessalonians that they were doing what was right in the sight of God. And by the way, Thessalonians, Thessalonica today is part of of modern Greece and that was part of the world that Paul the Apostle went through then. Areas of Turkey, Greece and all those parts of 
Europe and Asia were all places that Paul the Apostle went through. Although as an aside, it's sad today when one goes through places like Turkey and you discover that everybody there has forgotten about the coming of the Lord and it's like other faiths have taken over there and hardly can you find Christians in those places. Even if you find a church, you find someone of another faith as custodian uh, of the church. But for you, wherever you may be in the parts of the world that you may be, know for sure that the coming of the Lord will still be. So if you are to be prepared, then you have to be in the way. And if you are to be in the way, then you have to be in the faith. And if you are to maintain the faith, then you have to be in the word. So what are we talking about is that these are times when you have to be deep in the word of God. You have to have absolute faith in the word of God and you have to do that which is right in the sight of God. If you remember one or two days ago, our topic had to do with not being about you're willing to do something, but about the sovereignty of God and about his willingness to do that, which is also right for you. So you also have to be prayerful to be sure that as you keep your ways right with God, that you also keep in constant communication with him such that all decisions that will pertain to you will also be favorable to you. And I pray for you that you will be in positive light whenever the return of the Lord shall be. That if the rapture shall be today, that you should be also caught up with the rapture. And whenever it shall be that the Lord is going to establish his kingdom, then you will be part of the kingdom. And that's not that you even need to wait that long for the kingdom of God in heaven. The kingdom of God here on earth is righteousness, peace, and holiness. Keep into that too, so that you are sure that the return of the Lord, even if it comes like a thief in the night, is going to catch you prepared. Are you prepared for the coming of the Lord? If you are a Christian, I know it's easy for you to keep in the faith. But if you are not yet a Christian, if you've not given your life to Christ, if you are not in the right path already for the return of the Lord, then this is an opportunity for you because I'm extending an invitation to you right now that you recognize that the return of the Lord is at hand and that you need to give your life to Christ. I judge you faithful I call you faithful